Hey everyone, I wanted to show you a little setup I have for measuring very low currents on microcontrollers, Arduinos, STM, whichever it may be, little ARM processors. Um, I've been using the Ucurrent Goal for over a year. It works great, and it works perfectly when you plug it into a regular multimeter. But the problem is, my multimeter only reads maybe two or three times a second, so you can't really see the sleep states and when it turns on real quick and turns off. So. I got a cheapo $25 little DSO-138 beginner's oscilloscope. And yeah, a lot of people, especially people who have $400 to $5,000 oscilloscopes or quarter of a million dollar ones that they've played with, they're going to laugh at this and say it's a toy. It probably is a toy, but at the same time, it's actually a good learner because I've never messed with an oscilloscope. So this is actually teaching me the very, very basics of it. And it works great for just this type of little thing, reading low currents. I don't need a lot of speed or a lot of resolution. It's just enough that I can see what's going on. Now the problem I have right now, my microcontroller is sleeping. Oh, it just woke up. You can barely see it. Let me, see. if I stop the screen right there, out of all of this freaking noise, as actually I, bleh, I before I even go through here, I stopped the screen. This is a wake state on my Arduino right now. It's awake for about, oh, I'm set for half a second of division. So it's half one, about 1.6 seconds it's awake and then it goes back to sleep again. But the problem is all the noise. I'm also set on the Ucurrent Gold, one millivolt, a milliamp. And I have everything set DC coupling. Sensitivity is at 10 millivolts and since 2 is at uh, X1, so each division is 10 milliamps, so it should be reading basically 0 or 1 in this low area, and up here it should be reading about 4, 5, maybe 6 milliamps in here, and then goes back down. The problem is all the noise. So if I continue onward here again, up oh, there comes another wake-up state, and then it went back off. A lot of people have complained about this. Um, having a lot of noise off the Ucurrent Gold. Even with uh, $400 or $1,000 oscilloscopes, they've had noise problems in here. People would first blame it on this because it's a cheap little unit. Not in this case. The easiest way I've found to actually clear up the noise on here, believe it or not, is a cheap little... Let's see if I can get a good focus on there. Come on. Nope, it's not going to focus on it. The easiest way to fix it is a 10 microfarad capacitor. So watch here on the noise. Let me get negative to negative, positive to positive, and touch it. And voila, look at all the noise is gone. Now, well, it's not all gone, but it's really gone down like 80% worth. And you can actually see what's going on. And there's my wake state. Let me pause it, take this off again real quick. Look how much better that looks. Now I can actually read the screen. And all it is is a 10 microfarad capacitor put in parallel to your voltage output and it smooths it out so much better on the screen. Whether this will work on a $400 oscilloscope, I'm not sure. But this is the whole idea for this video is how do you get a reliable output from the Ucurrent Gold so you can read microcurrents off of microcontrollers correctly on an oscilloscope. And I found out how, because no one apparently could figure out how to do it in the EEV blogs um, forum area. They've always had this problem. Try it with a 10 microfarad capacitor in parallel. Now here, watch this. Let me uh, turn this off, unplug, and all I do is take this, shove it in here permanently. Screw it down. There we go. And just leave it in there. You plug in. And let's turn it back on. And let's undo that. And voila. Okay, I was catching the end of a sleep of a wake state right there. Let me reset the microcontroller. And see, now you can see it's doing its work. This runs for about eight seconds or so. 8 to 10 seconds when it first starts up and then goes back into sleep state. And that is so much better. You can actually read it and get viable information from there. So if you have any questions or comments on this, or if it works on your oscilloscope, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Thanks a lot.